first full day in Koh Phangan and we are going to rent a bike and head around and hopefully see some waterfalls. Paradise Waterfall. Our first stop of the day is 30 baht per person to get in, so just over a dollar per person. Let's go check it out. for what we thought was just Peng Noi waterfall and it cost a hundred baht per person to get in which is about four Canadian dollars however based on this map we can surmise that I think there might be up to five waterfalls that we can see I think this is a national park so let's go check this out and see what we've actually come to We have been walking uphill for probably what about a kilometer all through this like beautiful I don't know if you'd call it forest or jungle but the trail which in some places is well signposted in others you're kind of just guessing which path to take goes along basically a little stream and every so often you come across just a beautiful little waterfall so far. The very fact that 
you know, you only pay $4 per person and you get kind of the freedom of this gorgeous national park for one is amazing. Just being able to follow the stream up through all of the different rock formations and waterfalls and all of that kind of stuff is just really cool. A couple of things just to note though, um, which we've definitely found is that the actual properly mapped out trail is not always immediately obvious. And you get to a certain point where you're on a boardwalk and then it stops and you kind of have to figure it out for yourself afterwards. And that can include a lot of climbing, a bit of bouldering, a bit of this, a bit of that. So if you are planning on doing something like this, which we recommend you do, because it's still gorgeous, then be prepared for something kind of intense, but also make sure that you have some very grippy shoes. Flip-flops are not going to serve you here at all because there are some pretty sheer rock faces. Some of it's quite slippery as well. So just a word of caution there. But the great news is what you do find through here is absolutely stunning. You could have told me this was pretty much anywhere, let alone on an island off the coast of Thailand. And I'd have just been blown away. And so it's proven really, it's, it's amazing here. Yeah, I think in terms of the trekking and hiking and bouldering, this was a little bit more than we bargained for or expected today. However, we do enjoy doing this type of thing. So actually, I would say that this has far exceeded my expectations. This is way better than just driving somewhere and seeing a waterfall and leaving. This has been a far more immersive experience and I've really enjoyed it. Yeah. And the bonus is that there's apparently a viewpoint. So I think that's where we're going to hike, boulder, trek, who knows what's ahead of us, <laughs> up to next. God, this is crazy. After another hike and a fair amount of sweat and toil, then we have managed to make it up to the top of Don Sila viewpoint. And oh my God, this view. This was so worth the extra, I don't know what, 10 minutes of hiking up because you can just look out and see a huge, huge chunk of rainforest, if that's what it is. I think it is, yeah. I think it's rainforest. Could be jungle, who knows. And you get this incredible view all the way out to the water. You're just surveying this magical landscape and kingdom. It is absolutely spectacular up here. It's amazing because not only can you see the rest of this island for the most part, but you can also reach as far as other islands in this area as well, including I think Koh Samoy, which is not that far away. So highly yeah. recommend coming to this national park, mm -hmm. hiking the trail to see all these waterfalls and ending it with this viewpoint. So worth it. Definitely. We've just stopped at 7-Eleven and picked up some lunch. We both got these iced teas. Cheers, babe. Yes. I just picked up some dried mango and dried guava. And I got two rolls of gimbap, both of various different types of pork.
Sidette Waterfall was our last stop of the day, but I don't know about you, I feel like I need a shower. Same, same. We got quite sweaty doing all of this. So our plan for now is to head back to the hotel, shower, do some work, and then we will take you along when we go to dinner. As promised, we're back at Tom's Kitchen and it's interesting because on the menu there are two different Pad Thai options. One is a traditional style and one is Tom's own style Pad Thai. So we're going to give that one a go this evening. My understanding is that what makes Tom's Pad Thai his own is that he cooks it with a spicy sauce and it is the perfect level of spice. We like something with a kick, but this isn't a kick where like your nose is watering. Just like the omelet this morning, the flavors are fantastic. It is perfectly seasoned and there's a reason we're going to keep coming back here. Well, that meal was absolutely divine. Probably one of the best pad thais I've ever had. Agreed. I can't wait to go back like maybe tomorrow. Yep. 100% down. The thing that makes this one different is that there is a spicy sauce. And so when we mentioned that we wanted that, then the server then said, how spicy do you want it? And we went with a medium spice, and that actually ended up turning out to be about right for the pair of us. So I think all things considered, that shook out really well. But honestly, this could be kind of the Copangan version of Mom Spices. In Sri Lanka. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Like, it's run by a married couple, by the way. Mm -hmm. Really small business, super kind. I think they have like one waitress. It's just very sweet. But you can tell that they have a passion for food and cooking with the way they combine food and even the layout of their kitchen. All the food is just prepared in such an orderly fashion. There's real care and intention behind every decision they make with cooking, I feel like. Absolutely, and that really comes out in the food and you can definitely tell that there is just so much forethought within it all. It's just really, really good. And so, super happy that we managed to stumble upon this place. Good job. This is one of our talents, you know? Mm -hmm. Not playing the guitar or being like pro athletes, although you're also a very good athlete and musician, but whatever. Yeah. Finding cheap and amazing food. It's one of our talents. Yeah, we, we got it down to the science. Anyway, that will be it for today, but definitely we got a few more things lined up for the next couple of days while we're in Copangan, so please, please tune in for those. But until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>